Discovered four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. All right, everyone, welcome to today's ASRG webinar. But before we get started, I'd like to tell you a little bit about ASRG and get some of the legal stuff out of the way. ASRG is a nonprofit organization founded to support the development of the automotive security industry. We have developed a platform and a community to share knowledge, communicate through networks, and to build value with collaboration. This is a community for you built by you with the goal to protect our friends and family when using automotive products. If you want to learn more about ASRG or get more involved, please visit our website at www.asrg.io or send us an email at hello at asrg.io. Before we jump into the presentation today, let's get some of the legal stuff taken care of. The views and opinions expressed in this webinar are the views of those that have made them. They do not represent views or opinions of ASRG and are to be considered as informational. The use of this information is to be used by the individual and or organization at their own risk. Hello everyone. Welcome to the ASRG webinar and today we shall see at the ASRG forum automotive Ethernet switches as an essential link in the automotive vehicle network security. A short introduction about myself before we delve into the topic. I am Srishti Parashar. Starting with my most recent associations, I am associated with IIITB, that is International Institute of Information Technology, Bangalore, as an MS scholar. In my professional capacity, I am associated with JLR India as current. My professional experience thus far is a journey of multiple engagements and hands-on contributions in automotive development and pre-development stages. This includes design rationals for secure automotive Ethernet switches. I've tried to list out the other major ones for your quick later references. Off work, I spend time in road trips and trekking along with some photography and some experimental gardening on my terrace. My kind of constant companions being my better half and my daughter. The right side pane attempts to highlight my professional and academic trajectory in a simplified way. Again, you can use it for your later references. Now let's look at the contents. It has been divided into two parts. First part is to set the necessary context to better understand the later part. The second part consists of details about the IVN security through automotive Ethernet switches. Starting with the first section, to understand new automotive requirements and the relevance of automotive Ethernet switches there. First in this is the pretext of connected car ecosystem. The representation here attempts to give a high level view of the connected car ecosystem. In other words, the V2X, that is vehicle to everything. And when everything comes, things are indeed not that simple. The present cars are also connected, but not so much to the extent of, especially the rightmost section here, where a big cloud infrastructure allows for several of connected services for the vehicle at run. And high speed technologies like automotive ethernet, multi gig ethernet are enablers indeed. Next in the sequence is the ADAS and AD aspirations of automotive industry. ADAS aims for sophistication in driving assistance through features and functions. AD is the autonomous driving, for example, level 5 AD with ultimate delegation of decisions and controls to the vehicle. And a stepwise learning from ADAS shall lead to AD. With ADAS AD aspirations, comes in the need of the electrical and electronics architecture consolidation, that is EE consolidation, determinism, safety and security, etc. Along with certain non-functional requirements like software dictate, that is the software defined vehicles, fast fixes, flexibility with updates, etc. Automotive Ethernet technologies stands as enablers on these fronts in most of the cases, while 
work in progress for rest others which we shall also see later in the presentation and lastly in the pretext sequence is the electrical and electronics architecture evolution and relevance with the incoming of k strains that is connected autonomous shared and electrified push for flexible vehicular architecture is evident i see ee architecture evolution as a stage wise preparation and consolidation of the vehicle network from conventional to domain centralization to zone based architecture to vehicle centralization and this has become all the more possible now with incoming of high performance compute capacities in vehicular network for example the high data rates with technologies like gigabit ethernet high compute power with microprocessors along with microcontrollers for example the socs that is a system on chips like s32 g2 g3 from nxp etc vehicular network is a multi protocol network for the purpose of study however zone based architecture has been chosen where the high speed ethernet backbone has a significant role play with this we get into the next section here the ivn setup shall be elaborated highlighting non uniformity in security requirements together with ivn security dimensions and security playground for the ethernet switches towards end ethernet switch subsystem and ivn security perspective shall be elaborated the first question comes in how ethernet switches are relevant in the ivn security to understand this let's look at a typical ivn that is in vehicle network highlights of the depiction here are multi protocol network depicted in different colors in the vehicular network high speed ethernet backbone that can be seen between the zcs and vcs that is zonal controllers and vehicle computers redundant ethernet links for example between the zcs via vc and direct links as well shadow vc which is a replication strategy to ensure fail safe operations in certain cases now here the ecu convergence is seen in major at zonal controllers as shown in depiction and compute convergence is at the vehicle computer so this is how a typical but simplified ivn setting would look like however the high speed automotive ethernet backbone is the first focus now let's try to understand the zonal controllers zc and the vehicle computer vc node requirements closely on one hand with zonal controllers time synchronization with the ios and ecus is critical that is electronic control units time synchronization with computational cores that is the vcs and other zcs is also must with multi protocol traffic landing gateway function requirements is high close association with ios demands for low latency deterministic response time along with possible handling to avoid loops in network are other cases other requirements on the other hand with vehicle computer despite having tsn that is time sensitive network needs and deterministic latency high availability and non penetrable non functional requirements would follow into this shall also be elaborated in further slides to understand the aspects better for now we understand that the zc and the vc security requirements would itself be varying within ivn even though slight indications have been given on ethernet switch association with these blocks we shall see it closely in just next slide now here is a depiction of a portion of the ivn which is centered around high speed ethernet backbone to brief you on the labels first v0 v1 depict the vehicle computer that is vcs z1 z2 z3 depict zonal controllers that is zcs e10 e20 e30 depicts electronic control units attached that is the ecus 
SW1, SW2, SW3 are the Ethernet switches. F SW0, F SW1 is the firewall Ethernet switch. For some for simplicity of understanding, this can be considered as Ethernet switches for now. So the depiction here is an Ethernet vehicular network and interconnects, which is a portion of the IVN. It also highlights the capacities of the Ethernet switches to act as a OSI layer 2 firewall in the network. Now let's take two failure cases here. The first one, when the switch 1, SW1, goes down, this would mean delinking the Z1 from the V1 in set topology. In simplified terms, delinking de the computational core from the IO aggregator for a zone. So the outcome would be a part of the vehicle might not be operating. Localized impact. The case 2, when the FSW1 goes down, this would mean delinking the V1 from all Z1, Z2, Z3 in set topology. In simplified terms, delinking the computational core in total. So the outcome would be complete shutdown of vehicular functions, which can be catastrophic, especially with ADAS and AD settings. So the impact of these fundamental layers So the impact of these fundamental layer 2 devices can range from localized to catastrophic. Therefore, the automotive Ethernet switches are essential link in the IVN. But then, what does it mean to secure the Ethernet switches? Here is a simplified depiction of Ethernet switch subsystem. The dotted portion highlights optional managed Ethernet switch capabilities. This can be ignored for a moment. So let us look at the list of external interfaces here. Power supply interface, management interfaces like MDI or MDC or SPI, etc. Debug interface like JTAG. Data paths, that is the Ethernet interfaces exposed as MACs or integrated feeds. However, there could also be some obscure paths like Clock tampering, especially when time synchronization and deterministic latency becomes critical in time sensitive network. Other could be non volatile memory access, for example, side channel attack to extract the secure keys by analyzing electromagnetic or current variations, etc. Ethernet switches are essentially layer 2 devices on the network while the advanced managed ones are also offering some layer 3 capabilities. However, it would be wise to call out these as OSI layer 2 opportunity to secure the IVN. What we just saw was for the Ethernet switch as a system or standalone. Here we try to look at the attack strategies and threat vectors with the Ethernet switch more of in an IVN setting that is in in vehicle network. Power and clock majorly can have fault injection strategies either through software or side channel mechanisms. So design strategies, process and authentication can remedy there. Management and debug interfaces can majorly have misuse strategies. Now these are unavoidable interfaces for any hardware samples. Storage and NVM majorly can have fault injection strategies or can facilitate man in the middle attack that is MITM when secure keys or data is hacked or decoded. Data paths like Ethernet interfaces, majorly physical attacks or logical attacks up to OSI layer 3 can be seen. Connectivity and IVN. Connectivity unit is an interface for the vehicle to connect to the outside network traditionally called CCU that is connectivity control unit. And this is the place where all kind of logical network attacks can crop in. Now, if we see the first three verticals, design process and placement strategy can help address most of these in the automotive setting. However, in the later two verticals, minimizing strategy is the key approach. So we understand how securing the Ethernet switch subsystem 
is so foundational. Here is an example of configuration updates for several of the Ethernet switches in an IVN. Leftmost depiction shows an update in ZI context, that is, on Ethernet switch associated with one of the zones. It establishes link between this zone ZI to another zone ZK and also with the vehicle computer called V1. The middle depiction shows an update in the V1 context, that is, the Ethernet switch associated with the vehicle computer. It establishes link between vehicle computer V1 to all the zones. After these, after these two config updates on the Ethernet vehicle network, the resultant is the rightmost depiction showing network loop with redundant paths from vehicle computer to zone controller ZI. This network loop will gradually eat up the network bandwidth with packets looping in the network. This would mean system of systems approach would also be meaningful to prevent such premeditated or inadvertent inconsistencies in the vehicle network. But then, how automotive Ethernet switches fare in securing IVN as current? To understand this, here we shall see the listing from the leading suppliers in this space as industry offerings. For example, offerings from NXP and Marvel from their Ethernet switches portfolio have been collated under different sections. On layer 2, virtual LANs, spanning tree protocol for network loops, time sensitive network enablers at layer 2 like PTP etc. and MACSEC. On layer 3, packets priority, rate limiting, isolation and mirroring etc. If we see these closely, they are all to handle the network logical attacks in major. And this is where network security principles apply in general. OSI layer 2 are MAC based enablers and OSI layer 3 are network logical attacks prevention and detection enablers. The others category is where the security provisions as subsystem have been provided like trusted boot etc and D-packet inspection engines as IDPS, that is Intrusion Detection and Prevention System enablers. Thus, industry offerings is aligned to detect and minimize the network logical attacks. The question now is, but if this is sufficient? This takes us to the section where the question is looked at closely and the proposition with suggestions have been provided. Starting with security requirements outlook. Based on holistic study of the attack vectors done, it is observed that the vulnerabilities differ at various levels in Ethernet in vehicle network. And this leads to three categories of the Ethernet switch security requirements in the IVN. Or in other words, can be considered as three kinds of security requirements for the Ethernet switches in the IVN. First one, connectivity edge like FSW0 placements acting as firewall switch with for, for the external traffic. Second one being IVN edge like FSW1 placement acting as firewall switch for internal traffic. IVN others as the third category like SW0 or 1 with ZC depicted in gray areas within Z1 to Zn. So the Ethernet switch placements in IVN is catering to different security rationals. Now looking in further looking in with further details, the type 1 security requirement is 
derived from connectivity edge ethernet switch placements this is maximum exposed via direct external interfaces and interfaces external network with internal network this would require full frame dissection with rather restrictive approach to allow known kind of traffic dynamic trunking and dynamic vlan negotiation must be prevented to not allow alien or rogue devices to know ivn internals port mirroring for traffic monitoring for intrusion detection and prevention handling macsec enabled ports where there is possibility of physical swaps especially to prevent direct access to the vehicular network so in summary type 1 is with highest exposure with a range of network logical attacks as it interfaces to outside vehicular network type 2 type 2 security requirements is derived from ivn edge ethernet switch placements this is rather exposed interface but critical entity of the internal vehicular network this is critical as it connects the computational nodes on the ethernet network that is vehicle computers vcs including shadow vc for redundancy network for fail safe operations in extreme situations this would require port isolation mechanism to limit the malfunctioning within network uplink failure reporting to allow for redundant provisions to establish the link port mirroring to facilitate traffic shaping within vehicular network enablers like multi spanning tree protocol to prevent loop for different virtual lans on one hand on the other hand for faster network recovery in case of specific virtual lan links are down making not reachable nodes on network again max sec enablements where physical swaps are possible for passive attacks or injections so in summary type 2 is gateway to in vehicular network as it hosts critical interconnects between zonal controllers and vehicle computer nodes in the network type 3 security requirements is derived from ivn other ethernet switch placements this is rather lean in its security requirements from external network and network logical attacks from outside the network however is highly critical with its latency and accuracy requirements focus is availability and real time traffic aggregation this would require time synchronization with high precision and deterministic latency especially for the io side logical network segregation through vlans can tremendously can tremendously help shape the network access and network utilization to assist the first part macsec enabled interlink wherever physical swaps are possible so in summary type 3 is periphery of the ivn but has critical real time performance needs this is also closest in the network traffic aggregation on ethernet medium at zonal controllers and zonal controllers are itself the hub where multiple protocol traffic would land with varying speed and multiplicity at this point it would also be meaningful to have a quick look on the ieee 802.3 ethernet working group active projects okay but shortly before that one must understand that whether it is ethernet technology or ethernet switches they are the engineering marvels of 1972 and 1989 respectively not so new right then despite having decades of experience with ethernet technologies in consumer electronics industry what makes the automotive ethernet switches so special clue to the answer is quite simple the very needs of automotive industry poses certain challenges and mandates genesis of automotive ethernet switches as a vertical few requirements like high temperature conditions etc is the automotive industry operational extremes to adhere to in physical capacity for example where standards like aec q100 govern However 
Others like low latency switching, high speed interfaces, deterministic latency, low energy profiles, etc. requires to revisit the standard specifications to device for new adaptations and extensions. For example, IEEE 802.3BW of 2015, that is Automotive Ethernet 100 base T1, where data transmission medium is single pair differential lines, compared to 100 base TX with two pair transmission for TX and RX paths. Now back to IEEE 802.3 Ethernet Working Group Active Projects list. Let's check on few indications here. Multi-gig automotive Ethernet specifications that is more than 10 gig is at work, indicated by IEEE 802.3CY. Multi-gig automotive Ethernet over optical medium that is indicated by 802.3DH is ongoing. And this is a tricky one too. And then we check for the automotive parts availability. For example, 10G base T1 that is IEEE 802.3CH is first available as fee from Marvel in 2021 only and as Ethernet switch in 2023 that is now. More so, MSTP enablers on switch are yet to be seen in list itself. So we see that the IEEE 802.3 extensions to support automotive requirements is a work in progress. And therefore, the automotive Ethernet switches are also rather nascent as they evolve with standards. Summarizing therefore. So, so we understood in the first part, new vehicle requirements and architecture transitions. Further to that, we understand how typically Ethernet switches position itself as security enablers. Concluded with understanding of Ethernet switches as essential links in the Ethernet IVN and as OSI layer 2 opportunity to offload certain security handling in the Ethernet IVN. In the second part, we looked through a holistic study of the attack vectors and observed that the vulnerabilities differ within Ethernet IVN. This leads to categorization of the Ethernet requirements with different kind of placements of the Ethernet switches in a zone-based EE architecture. The three categories stated are Connectivity Edge Ethernet Switch, IVN Edge Ethernet Switch, IVN Ethernet Switches. Then the security handling through automotive class Ethernet switches is being looked at where industrial offerings are being validated along with mitigation techniques and work in progress snapshot for the IEEE 802.3 spec. Thereby concluding with one, security through ethernet switches is foundational to the vehicle network security. Second, automotive ethernet switch has distinguished requirements from automotive industry and attempts to shape new aspirations of automotive industry in high speed interface segment. And third, the IEEE 802.3 spec of Ethernet is evolving with the automotive needs. This allows to stepwise evaluate the new enablers in the Ethernet IVN setting along with security rationals. Here is a list of references that has been used to substantiate the webinar content. Please refer as you like. With this, I take the forum to first of all, thank you for your participation. Please connect with your further queries. I would also like to thank ASRG for providing me the forum to share the work with you. I hope I have been able to give you some new insights. Thank you and best wishes.